hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in previous video we have configured routing and navigation in our angular application in this video we are going to create create employee component and we are going to create create employee form through which uh, we can add a employee all right before that let's quickly uh, you know look into the two-way binding all right consider we have a form with first name last name email id and similarly here we have a component class it has a property employee so employee is basically a typescript class it contains the properties first name last name and email id so when we create an employee property of employee typescript class in component we access its properties in html template using employee dot first name employee dot last name employee dot email like this whenever i enter something in first name last name and email id input controls then the corresponding properties will get automatically updated in component class and whenever i do some changes in model uh, properties in component class then the corresponding properties will get updated in html template so this is how the two way works in angular so look at here here we have data binding and event binding so whenever we define properties in component class and we bind that properties in component template then it is called property binding or data binding so we basically use in, uh, angular interpolation to bind a properties in html template and when we perform some uh, events on html template it should be bind in component class using uh, methods or functions so angular provides a nice feature that is two-way binding and angular also provides ng model directive so we can use ng model directive to achieve two-way binding in our angular application let's head over to a vs code id and let's quickly create a component so make sure that you are in a project a root folder of project angular happen front end and just type the angular cli command ng g for generate c for component and just followed by the name of the component let's say create employee hit enter when this command completes it created four files and app module is also updated well if you expand app folder within app folder you can see here create employee folder is created and within a create employee folder four files are generated and if you open app module angular cli has automatically added create employee component to declarations array all right now let's go ahead and let's configure route for our newly created component that is create employee component let's go ahead and let's open app routing model module and here we're going to configure a route so let's go ahead and let's create a javascript object within a routes array let's specify path and then let's say create employee as our path followed by components property so once we enter a path like create hyphen employee then corresponding component will get rendered so the component name is create employee component it's pretty simple right so once we configure route now we can able to provide a links in a header section of our angular application let's open app component template and here we are going to configure a link for add employee page so let's go ahead and let's copy this list and paste it here and let's change the link name accordingly so this is going to be our create employee or let's say add employee uh, link and here we are going to change a router link create employee so this is the path that we have configured in a route here okay let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and here you can able to see add employee link is added in a header section if you click on add employee you should be able to navigate to create employee path all right so our routing is perfectly working 
if you click on employee list it should navigate to the employees list page and if you click on add employee it should navigate to create employee page let me summarize what we have done in this video we had a quick look on to a binding in angular so basically uh, we are going to use ng model directive to achieve to a binding in our angular application and we have created create uh, employee component and we have added a route to create employee component and we have also added add employee a uh, link in a header section so that once we click on add employee it should navigate to create employee page in next video we'll create a form that is create employee form through which we can add a new employee to the employees list thanks guys for watching i will see you guys in next video